Welcome back everyone. Um, as per last video, we have a few things to address real quick. Um, so number one, as far as music, no music in the videos go, uh, I've had people say they liked it, I've had you guys say that they hated it, and some people say they really hate it. And uh, what I'm just going to say is that you might get a video with it, you might get one without it. Uh, it's just going to be whatever the heck I want to do at the time. Um, number two, uh, I got a little bit of flack about the putting my uh, P.O. box down in the in the description, and not not really, but just kind of I didn't I didn't get it across clear. So let me kind of reiterate. I, I had said something like if you, if you know you want to uh, uh, what's the, the word I you know kind of connect if you guys want to connect or collaborate or whatever, and kind of what I mean more or less by that is. If you guys just say, if, um, you know, you want, you have an extra, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want anything. That's, that's, let me be clear. I don't want anything from you guys if, if you don't want to send anything. But to those that might want to, it's, it's available. And by that, I mean, hey, you have an extra spare tool, spare this, spare whatever. And you think, hey, uh, I might be able to use that. Then that's, that's kind of what I mean by, by, um, you know, connect, meaning I can get, my subscribers involved. It's, this is mainly for you guys. This isn't uh, just so you, I want free stuff. That's that's not what I meant, and it might have came across that way. Um, but that's not what I'm. That's not what I mean. I don't want anything. But if you guys want to help out or any in any form to those that do, this is for you. So like I said, my PO box is in the description. Don't want anything. But if you guys want to send something, that's fine too. So that's to clear that up. Uh, let's see. The third thing is I. Today is Saturday night. Um, I had off Friday, Saturday, and the past two days, I don't know if you guys would be able to really understand what's going on here, but uh, we have made some, some, some modifications to the shop here. So Friday night, Saturday, I've just been kind of trying to clean up a bunch of stuff. Um, so if you can see, I don't know why it's not focusing, but over here, so, so I mentioned before that the fruit washer over there uh, had sat in this corner and there was a you know kind of a burn built up to the bank here to where uh, this we used to have like 13 acres of orange trees here and a lot of them died off from a freeze we had several years ago so we don't do as much of that anymore but when we did there was a you know a bank here you drive the tractor up on and dump a bin in the hopper and they'd roll down and go through the washer so on and so forth but now that's not we've moved it and stuff like that my goal is to come out here another probably 12. I don't know how wide wide these these bays are, but just another bay this way. And right now it's probably just going to be you know just open free space. But uh, in the back end here, uh, probably the last maybe I don't know how at least 20 feet. At least, I'm thinking at least 20 feet. Um, I know you guys are going to be able to see anything, but I like to put a paint booth back here, and by that I mean just something enclosed this specifically for painting, because uh, like this right here, I, it's not going to be done by the time this is done, so therefore, you know, this is going to be painted outside. Uh, I'm probably going to pull it out here in the middle of, uh, I'm going to pull out here, that's so it's away from everything else, but that's my goal there, and then... Ultimately, I'd like to put a two-post lift. I don't know if it's if, it, if that's going to happen here, but that'd be awesome to see that as well. Uh, in order to do that, we'll need to pour a slab. But my goal, you know, this might take some time as well. But my goal is to just uh, set six by sixes, six by six wood posts over here uh, on concrete. You know, pour pour, pour a uh, column or whatever you want to call it set the post on top, made a, you know, make a bracket so where they set on, screw through it, and then just put a tin roof from here to there and just kind of cover everything up. But I also needed to do this so that we can eventually get the dump trailer out of here because we didn't have, you know, this was all dug out. We had something, we had a trailer, like uh, a cooler on a trailer that sat up in here. That's why it was lower um, originally. So I filled that back in, try to get, there's still stuff laying around from cleaning up. It's everywhere. But it looks a lot better and for the future maybe have some big plans just a few quick things on the dump trailer mainly just one uh some of you guys asked me like why did you not just put a solid piece from from here to there and when he said that i'm like 
I kind of thought about it. I'm like, hmm, I could have done that and then just put stake pockets on the side. But originally, this I'm leaving these open so that we can put uh, extensions on here, whether that's made out of wood or steel. But <clears throat> I could have made it solid and then just put, like I said, stake pockets on the outside. That way, the wood was set right on here. But now, you know, if you put a two before in here, it's going to sit, uh, you know, off. You know, your your other plank will sit inside or outside. So kind of messed up not really we can make something that drops in here out of steel and then you still put a plank in it so it's like it's six to one half dozen the other um i can't remember anything else but we're gonna get work on it i don't know how much we're gonna get done in this video but I'm just gonna start working at it and see what happens um one last thing up here we're gonna build we're gonna build one big toolbox we're we're kind of leaning away from you know, original, my, his original plan of putting a little hoist up here, but we're going to put one big toolbox where the battery and uh, pump will be housed towards the back, and then the front will be, uh, you know, for straps and chains and tie downs, stuff like that. So <clears throat> that's what's going to happen. Um, I ordered some, I, instead of trying to make some beefy hinges, I ordered a couple. They were relatively inexpensive. So we're going to be waiting for just a little while to make the, the, the back door. But a lot of the other stuff we can still get done and uh, keep making progress on this. So let's get to work and we'll catch up where we need to catch up.
This video has taken entirely way too long uh, to make. I just, I don't even know what to, what to say, but um, not a lot has got done in this video. Um, we got what's changed from um, the last, uh, the last uh, part was we got the fenders on. Um, fenders, I did work on the hitch, got these, I think, I think I did these this video, I'm pretty sure. Um, like I said, it's been entirely way too long. I can't remember what the heck I did. But I got the hitch done. Got these uh, guides put on there. Um, and then Ethan and Trey came over yesterday. And they welded out a lot of it. Still have to. They welded out all the main supports. Got all the stitch welds. Um, the only thing yet to weld on here would be the fenders. All on the inside and all on the outside. And then that's done. But yet they, they still, I mean, they're, they're still covered a lot of inches uh, yesterday. So big, uh, big thanks to them. But yeah, I just, there's been other stuff going on that uh, is neither here nor there, but that's why it's taken forever. And it may not look like we've got a, done, a lot done in this video, but we, we've got a lot accomplished um, as far as welding. Oh, we still got to weld um, across the seams there as well. But anyhow, I'm just, like I said, I don't even know where I'm at anymore in this video. It's been too long and just need to get something out so I can start start fresh, something new, um, so I know where, where the heck I'm going. But the only thing left to do, oh, and also added this little trough in here. I cut the top out and then put this little kind of guide on the outside. That way uh, cables shouldn't kind of, they should be a little less scraping on, uh, on the metal. But anyhow, that runs back there to the cylinder. But the only major fab parts left to do is build a toolbox. Um, I need to, I'm probably on the fenders here. I'm gonna come up with a piece, um, probably about to here. Cap that, and then a little piece on the end, put a marker light in it somewhere. And then on the back side, um, kind of the same thing. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna angle straight over to this. I think I'll just come kind of straight, I don't know yet. Um, cover up this hinge here. Still need to reinforce the hinges and figure out our tail lights, which I'm probably going to put them underneath here. And then the tailgate. And that's pretty much all of the fab yet to do. And then it'll be just a bunch of grinding and little knickknack stuff here and there and a bunch of welding still. But anyhow, we're, we're done with this video for now. So, like I said, it's been too long. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, we will see you all on the next one.